here with researcher Mikkel Kolonen from the University of Texas, Houston. Thanks so much for joining us. My pleasure. Thank you for having me. And can you tell me a little bit about what you're working on in Texas? I, um, I am a director of the Center for Metabolic and Degenerative Disease at the University of Texas, Houston. And uh, we uh, study adipose stromal cells. Uh, it's a cell population that has a big um, promise in regenerative medicine. Wow, that sounds really interesting. I don't think a lot of people really know much or understand regenerative medicine. Can you tell us a little bit about what that exactly means for, for the average person? Well, basically, you know, in many cases, uh, we need to have our tissues repaired. And uh, sometimes uh, the body cannot mobilize those cells by itself. So uh, a lot of times what is done is uh, cells are taken out of a patient and uh, they're processed in culture and then they're administered back into the patient with the hope of um, promoting the healing um, process. Wow. And the goal of this summit has really been the idea of collaboration and moving forward. What do you think the importance is of this to you and the work that you're doing in Texas? So this is an incredibly important meeting because um, there is a big progress in using uh, various types of stem cells for regenerative medicine application. And um, while uh, they clearly have uh, potential um, because of how potent they are, there are not only good things that they potentially do when administered into patients, but also bad things. And uh, this is what my lab study is. We want to make sure that the preparations of cells that are used for those applications are standardized, well characterized, and we just really need to better understand the heterogeneity of those cells and uh, what they're capable of. It sounds like you're doing very important work in Texas, and we are all looking forward to what is to come. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for having me. <laughs>